Uh, I wanted to put the spotlight on a story that has been trending all day today on social media, but not anyone in the mainstream media is looking at it because it's extremely sensitive. A big controversy has erupted after reports that three students from a private paramedical college in Udupi shot explicit videos of other girls inside the college restroom in Karnataka and allegedly shared them online. The report has triggered controversy and tension in Udupi district, but the Udupi superintendent of police has clarified on camera that not only is the story something that has nothing to do with any communal agenda, no communal angle whatsoever that the opposition BJP is alleging, but also that no hidden cameras were used in the college washrooms. The police, therefore, is outright debunking any communal or blackmailing angle, saying that there have been many videos on social media of the said case which are spreading misinformation. But the BJP in Karnataka is staunchly targeting the Karnataka police and the Congress government over this incident, saying that the truth is being strangled. State BJP leaders, including Basana Gowda Patil, C.T. Ravi, Tejaswini Gowda and others have alleged that three girls from a particular community were booked and suspended for making videos of a Hindu girl in the college washroom. Remember, the police says there is no communal angle. C.T. Ravi, senior leaders from the BJP like BJ, B.L. Santosh have also accused the Congress government of the state of negating the crime and using the police to strangle the truth. Well, not just that. Prominent right-wing activist and commentator Rashmi Samant, who has been at the forefront of calling attention to this issue and tweeting about the case, has now claimed that the police has been sent to her home, presumably to silence her, and that her parents, who were questioned by the police, and repeatedly asked about Rashmi Samant's whereabouts. Rashmi Samant used to be a student leader in Oxford. She is based in India now, where she frequently takes up pro-Hindu and right-wing issues, especially on social media. This information is very important. It is very important. It is very important. it's very sad that as soon as Congress party came to power in uh, Karnataka with a uh, huge mandate of 135 MLAs, uh, they increased their crime against women, particularly Hindu community. How uh, recently everybody raised their voice against the Kerala files, you know. Here, three Muslim girls deliberately, knowingly videographed uh, the Hindu girls' naked scenes in the toilet and also they sent it to the other groups. It is a, uh, a great crime uh, for which we are demanding uh, a stringent action by this government. Let's get a factual update on what's happening on the ground as far as the investigation is concerned. Sagai Raj, uh, my colleague from Karnataka, has been following this case. Uh, Sagai, we know that three students have been suspended. Uh, the police is saying not only is there no communal angle, they've also gone ahead and said that no camera has been found in the washroom and that there is no, uh, uh, you know, uh, absolutely no, uh, you know, polarizing angle as is being claimed explicitly by the BJP. What do we know so far? Because the BJP is alleging that the Karnataka government is strangling the truth for its own political reasons. What do we know so far? Only facts because it's a very sensitive case. Absolutely. If you, know, if you have to go by the facts, you have to go by what the officials have to say. And according to police, uh, uh, police department, they haven't received any complaints so far. They haven't received any complaint from the Hindu girls who have alleged about uh, recording the videos from the toilet. Mm. And the SP has also clarified that there are no hidden cameras in the toilet. And they have also checked the mobile phones of all those three girls whether 
they have forwarded any kind of videos or photos there was nothing in the phone they haven't forwarded anywhere so whatever they have recorded they have recorded uh, and deleted in front of them hmm. and sp also have clarified that they are monitoring social media and so far they have not found out a single video of any of this girls which has been shared by anybody on the social media but sagar so why have the they been suspended then that there is nothing every see what we get to learn through our sources which is not been uh, uh, spoken out in the public is that these three girls were trying to play prank with their classmate which has got wrong with the classmate and she has escalated the issue mm. and uh, the, the the college management have taken cognizance of this and they have suspended it so if they have forwarded somewhere or if they would have shared on social media definitely police would have registered a complaint police has also said that we would have filed a suo moto complaint even if that girl wouldn't have registered a complaint on the same